Right, we look at these swings on it then, Kevin. Okay, so left hand one was before posture, okay. right hand one's your after. So posture, grip pressure, space. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there is something there, but it's not a lot. Okay, now you can just see on this one here now, just a small little hit there. See that sort of there, that's kind of your all, just that pushing those hips backwards just gives you a little bit more, you, you sort of, your legs and your hips go this way, the quads then come back. You just go from in here, just to, it just straightens out this lower back. It's gonna give you a little bit more range of motion. Okay. So your body then now is in a position to do what it needs to do, which is I say, rotate to get the golf club to go around your body this way and round that way. It leaves your arms then to do what they need to do, which is we said, lifting in the back. So this is the practice you wanna be trying to do now in terms of the drill, okay? So in the top, there's a little bit of a lift there, but that in time will start disappearing once you start turning better. Now from here, stop, let the arms fall. So you see the arms are literally going straight down, yeah? Straight down there, yeah? So there's no over the top from here. Now that club you can see now is working from sort of this direction, yeah. which works more from the inside, as opposed to this over the top we'll see in a second, okay? And it's going to give you much more efficiency. And again, finding the ground becomes something you just do then really easily, yeah? Let me make some practice swings. Again, same good movement. Much more space there with your arms here now. Arms are starting to fall here, okay? Get that club. So when you then get the club down here, obviously your chest, you can see, is kind of aiming down there, isn't it? Yeah. So when you want to change where the low point is to move it to the golf ball, you just turn and twist yeah, the test, yeah? Like as well. it's so far behind me. So yeah, it's going quite like yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. You've got so much more range of motion yeah, now because before you couldn't... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, well, the thing is probably going further now because before you couldn't go back as far yeah. and you were kind of forced to go back with some other extra help and stuff. Now you've got less restriction. It's almost like you've been sort of the stabiliser off now. You're able to go faster or the brakes have been turned off, yeah? So at the top, let the arms fall. Getting a good practicing there, okay? When we step to the golf ball there now, again, as it's still a slight lift, but the posture is better. Your arms now are able to go up here. The arms are doing the lift. Once your arms are up here, now the arms fall down. You can see your arms there starting to work a little bit out to the golf as opposed to this way, which is to be expected because you're swinging. Natural, coming to where you exactly, the yeah, yeah, just, exactly, yeah, yeah. So your arms kind of, as the club comes into that golf ball there now, because the arms have worked slightly on the outside yellow line here, this one, rather than, what's a different colour, rather than the, the green line in here, your path is a little bit, we call out to in, so the ball then goes a little bit to the left at start, okay? But generally speaking, in terms of the strike, it's so much better compared to where you were before, okay, on this one, where it's like the swing was very short, not much space there for you to swing. I mean, there's no twist there at all. That's like your right elbow's kind of like doing this, trying to pull you away, yeah? There's no real twist there. Then as you get up here now, now as you start coming over the top, the club now is way outside the line, possibly shanking a lot of these shots off to the right there and then finishing with not really much of a follow through. I mean, you could you know, follow through on this one when you finish the swing. That's kind of where you were there. Not much movement here. Arms are barely above your head where... Face <laughs> the ball. Is exactly, you've rotated fully, yeah? Only because that was straighter. If that posture is better, okay, and your grip is looser, and there's space to swing. That's your three kind of setup things. I know it's three things, but when you set up the golf ball, you're not moving. So you can think of three things, can't you? Okay, you just go through that rehearsal, and as you build your setup around that with a good posture, with a loose grip pressure, with the space. In some ways, better posture creates a space because rather than your hips kind of tucked under, pushing them back a little bit gives you the space for your arms. If I pull my pelvis up this way, my hands now, my quads are close. If I push it back. It gives me space. So space and posture kind of go together. Yeah. Grip pressure is going to be the biggest thing for you to try and get better at, okay? Because everyone grips on for dear life. I think on the range I'll do it, as long as everyone will get it either. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, your grip, really thing, your grip pressure is going to be enough in your that fingers anyway, yeah. Well, but you're able to move. I always use the example. Imagine you're holding your phone. How would you hold your phone? And then, do you ever hold your phone and go, oh, I can't drop it? Yeah. You just, you just sat in your hands and you've got enough grip pressure in your pad there, your hands and your fingers to to text with your finger or, you, or doing this or whatever, yeah? If you had to squeeze that phone so tight, your thumb would move. So you're able then to move your arms. Like I say, from this position here now, the function of the body, so the body is there, the body is gonna twist here and twist around that, okay? That's gonna give you the movement of the golf swing and the club now goes up over your shoulder. So the club is responsible with the, the arms for lifting and the torso is responsible for the twisting and the turning around your body. 
as I say, you blend those two together, obviously. Yeah? What you had before was because your posture was so poor, you couldn't really turn. So your arms had to sort of drag the club behind, and then you lift it up. Now you couldn't reach the ground. Now your brain takes it right the rest of the ground, and the voice throws the club over the top. And again, you get good at finding the ball. But if I, if I stood here now sort of throwing towards that bin there, my arm this way, yeah, if I kept doing that long enough, I'd probably get one sort of <laughs> closer to it, wouldn't I? Would it be a good throw in action? No. But if I did it long enough, I'd figure out where the bin is, yeah? We want to try and make it a movement that's a bit more consistent. So when you don't hit it as well, it's still a good shot rather than a disastrous shot. Yeah, yeah, cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Excellent, good stuff.